Dr. Suzuki, I asked if your opinion of education in Japan in, from uh, two uh, perspectives. Uh, the other was, uh, one is scholarship and uh, tax exemption system in Japan, and uh, another one is uh, leadership training in school. Well, uh, you, Padu, you said, uh, was established by donation of Mr. and Mrs. Padu, although it's a state university. Mm -hmm. And uh, many of you here so, who studied the United States or some other place, uh, places uh, on scholarship. And unless you receive uh, this uh, scholarship, you are not, you are right now. <laughs> Uh, my uh, journalism education uh, was funded by uh, people in Missouri. I had the uh, full scholarship in University of Missouri, uh, when, uh, which is the uh, world's first school of journalism was established by, uh, by that uh, university. And also, I was given the research assistant job at the Freedom of Information Center when they established this institution. And uh, uh, when I signed to them, they said, no, you don't have to thank us, you just pass it on. You are our investment, and education is investment. And I know many of you are now paying back whatever you get uh, from your salary or commission, etc., etc., whatever the chance to your alma mater, to other things, like uh, that in our tiger mask. <laughs> and uh, I think um, Japan, when you donate uh, certain certain amount of money is 5% uh, deduction or 50% deduction, you still have to pay tax. When I'm, uh, I did uh, um, TV production in New York, I had some issues. So I produced one program completely on my own finance. And then I donated it uh, to um, New York University's uh, school board. And the accountant put all the money tax is exempt. And if I do that kind of thing in Japan, I still have to pay some tax. And if the old governmental party handled those uh, good intent, uh, donation, which was given by good intention, you know, uh, you don't have uh, freedom of your own money. And uh, if something wrong, you know, you have to be, uh, well, the basic thing may be uh, taken care of uh, by tax system, but for new initiatives, uh, pioneering and <coughs> challenging project has to be financed uh, privately. You know, we have to give this kind of things in the hand of people. And about that uh, entrance examination system, I think uh, the doctor has some uh, comment about this. You know, uh, you have to pass entrance examination to uh, get into the good university. You compete with your, uh, your friends. If you are one point ahead of them, you get in. But if you are one point behind, you will lose. And um, this kind of system is just nurturing the followers or the very small people. And if you like to do the, uh, some kind of new things and challenging things, what Japan needs is uh, you know the uh, training system for the uh, for the readers. And what do you comment on this uh, this kind of Japanese system? Uh, I uh, think you know? uh, that is uh, you just point, as you just pointed out that is the Japanese system is very funny. That is a very I can't understand because he told you if uh, we uh, donate some money. In such a case, United States, I don't know exactly, but uh, as far as I know, they don't need in United States, they don't need any pay their tax. But here in Japan, you donate some money, but some of percent, you need five percent or they are, you have to pay the tax. That is a very, very, very funny thing. So our government has to change quickly. That is very funny thing. I don't know German. What about the German? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Something? <laughs> but anyway, I think uh, he just pointed out 
such a very funny system, how to change. For example, in the United States, they had some uh, distinguished the pressure system, distinguished the pressure system for the active pressure in the United States. So that in all of the case, I don't know so much exactly, but all of the case, millionaire donates their money to the university. By such a money, they give the, such a distinguished pressorship for active pressure of the university. That is supporting such a money from the donation of uh, such a millionaire. So that is very, in such a case, maybe such a millionaire, he who donates the money to the university, they don't need to pay the, any tax to the, the state or federal government. I think, I don't know exactly, but that should be. On the other hand, in our case, if some of our millionaire, you donate some big money, even though you have to pay 5% or 6% of tax, you have to pay the government or state, the province. That is very funny. So if we stop there such a bad system in Japan, many of the millionaires, they donate their big money to the university, then university have uh, enough research money. That is very important. That is my opinion. Complete that one? Just follow up. Uh, Dr. Suzuki, did you donate some of your money? She was about leadership training in school. Leadership or leadership training in school. Training in school? Yes. I think uh, the, uh, I think that is also very important. But uh, at this moment, I don't have uh, any the clear concept about that. But the leadership, the training for young people is very, very important. Not only the chemistry, but also other science and technology. So in such a meaning, the, uh, we have to consider the, uh, such an important thing for training of young people. But I'm sorry, I cannot tell you <laughs> exactly my concept. Thank you very much for a very interesting presentation and congratulations. I'm a former researcher and now I have... What did you chemistry? No, I, my, my PhD is in oceanography and I was oh, I uh, see. doing so, biology so and geochemistry. No? I did some geochemistry. Okay. And, uh, but now I've, I've stopped doing research and I, I, I actually help Japanese researchers to publish their, their, their uh, research publications in the international literature. And Japan is actually very fairly productive. It's number three in the world <coughs> with about 75,000 papers in the index literature every year. And not only is it a large number, it's also increasing uh, rapidly in quality in terms of the rates of citation of those papers. But my question is, um, Japan is not so efficient at taking scientific discoveries and then finding ways to commercialize them in new yeah, products. That is same, and, yeah, and what, what could Japan do to increase the efficiency of transfer of, yeah. of new scientific knowledge into uh, groundbreaking new products that mm -hmm. might uh, revitalize the uh, Japanese economy? Yes, that is, uh, I completely agree with uh, your opinion. Because I told you, for example, our company, of course I don't have any patent, but our company reaction is mainly used in the many of companies, in the foreign companies. Of course, in Japan, some of the companies use our own reaction. But the majority of uh, big uh, results of our company reaction were carried out by the foreign companies. I don't know why, but uh, I think before, 
He says they are in the industry in Japan. They never feel the result of uh, Japanese uh, the researchers. They believe their uh, results they are carried out by foreign uh, companies people. Before people say just like that, but at this moment, I don't think uh, you know the Japanese still Japanese companies still the same uh, such a funny thing. But uh, even though I think uh, they had a still they had a even same kind of feeling. So not like before, but I think. Uh, Japanese uh, companies also consider the, the, you know, real, the usefulness of our result they are published by Japanese people. That is my feeling. It's okay?
PhD problem. Uh, it's been said, especially in the media, that from about 20 years ago, uh, although an MBA is still highly regarded in Japan in, in the job market, uh, PhDs are considered as, uh, not to be uh, very valuable at all. Uh, what do you th is this a particular uh, characteristic of Japan? Is it only in Japan that we don't have value PhDs? Uh, if that is so, why, what is the cause of this reasoning? Uh, I can answer before you are uh, three questions. First of all, I cannot tell the order, but the first uh, one of your question is to get the Nobel Prize, it takes a long time. For example, in my case, I first reported our cross coupling reaction in uh, 1979. That is almost uh, 32 years ago. So that is uh, really the so long years I get uh, such a prize. But the, according to my feeling, that is especially chemistry and the physics is physically uh, different. For example, the Japanese first Nobel laureate, uh, Yugawa, Dr. Yugawa, his uh, uh, research is the, uh, the, uh, some uh, theoretical study. That is a very wonderful study. So he gets his Nobel Prize when he was young. But in chemistry, that is a little bit different. That means uh, physics has some possibility to get the Nobel Prize by uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Chakras that is there, Sikimana. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, in the physics, we may have some uh, opportunity to get uh, the very uh, the short time after their contribution. On, on the other hand, in the chemistry, we need the, uh, you know, the long time because such a result should be recognize the people that is very useful. For such a thing in chemistry, we need a long time the people to understand that is very useful contribution. So therefore, depending upon the chemistry and the physics, we get a little bit uh, different standard. That is the first time. Ah, yes, I, the, he's, so <laughs> ah, so, okay. Ah, second, second question is the, uh, you know, the, uh, young, ah, so, young, the people, the, the young scientists, we have to recommend many of Japanese uh, very active young scientists to, uh, to recognize their contribution very much in the just <laughs> 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 Taking a moment, the bibun uh, uh, word he was using before is differential calculus as opposed to integral calculus. Differential uh, bibun. <laughs> I just forgot about such a the, uh, the uh, mathematics, you know. <laughs> but anyway, the, uh, of course, the, uh, we have to recommend the uh, young Japanese people who are doing very high level research. But uh, fortunately, I completely agree. 